I have no idea if that blended in whatsoever. <laughs> Only Things We Love is the newest album released by Black Audio. Now these guys are a electric duo who also happen to be in the band AFI. That is a very interesting fact and I mentioned that to a couple people before I recorded this video and a lot of my friends apparently know who AFI is. Um, I knew who they were. I didn't grow up listening to their music but I am familiar with them. And... Um, Side projects for musicians is just very interesting to bring up. Upon first listen, I was really drawn into this because they use an incredibly old school sound for it. It's like they're going for some of that techno-y 80s vibe in the past. And then also when I am taking my second listen into the album and trying to understand more of the depth and the details that they're putting into this album... I couldn't help but think of two artists that they're blending into one, and I don't think it's a perfect combination. It just reminds me of these two artists. They're kind of merging together. It's like a mix of Tears for Fears and Savage Garden. And often the music is switching levels on which decade they're deciding they're going to be on, 80s or 90s, as well as the production emphasis I also noticed. I don't think the production is bad at all, but I felt like the age of it was exposed a little bit more because they were purposefully trying to make it sound like it belonged in a different era than today. Based on that description alone, I have no idea what any of you are going to think about this album. I don't think it's bad at all. I just don't know really whose taste this really is meant to be for. Enough highs to keep me very interested. A lot of times where I felt like I was being reverted backwards, but that era does have a few iconic sounds that are timeless to me, and I didn't really get that with a lot of the songs. I felt like they were good songs, but because they were purposely trying to rewind, and they're hoping that you'll get that sort of timelessness quality with it, which is kind of trying to present itself, but it doesn't really get the exact execution it needs with the majority of the songs in this album. Now having said that, I do want to highlight a few, because, again, I don't know who will and won't like this album. It's a very curious and puzzling kind of sound, one that I am willing to recommend and highlight, but these are the ones I liked, and I don't know if they are necessarily the ones you will, I hope you do, but I don't really know. But here we go anyway. First one is the first song, and it does have more of the what I call the Tears for Fears kind of factor, and that is Infinite Skin. Caroline in the Clip is another one that I kind of liked. Dark Times at the Berlin Wall. Kind of felt like a fast-paced bass nectar beat from the 80s, which I don't know if that was actually a thing back then. And Matrimony and Dust. Those would be the ones that I think that you would be able to enjoy. Maybe you would enjoy more of it. Maybe you would enjoy none of it. I really don't know what you're going to get. Maybe if you are more of an 80s fan, maybe you will like it. Maybe if you're more of my generation, you will despise it. I don't know. I'm not trying to persuade... At this point, I don't really know if I'm trying to persuade or just simply explain it and let you just check it out for yourselves. I really don't know. I had a good time listening to this album. When it comes down to the nitty gritty, I can only say I really like a few of these songs. Beyond that, um, if you were to ask me would I be interested in future projects, yeah, I think I would be. But I am pretty convinced that I would still be nitpicky because that's what my experience was with this one. So after having listened and reviewed this album with production of 88%, creativity 90%, expression and lyrics 90%, I'm going to give this album a good 
If you guys know more about Black Audio in their past, I would love to know what you think would be interesting and useful and just cool, I guess, to know about their past. As well, you can comment about AFI. That would be also good. And yes, I'm going to keep bringing a couple of past reviews because there's a lot I didn't get to during my month absence, but there's a lot of new albums that are also coming out and I'm excited to be able to review those. Some very interesting surprises this time around. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you want to discover, promote, and review the best in entertainment, remember to subscribe and follow all the social media for this channel so you can get that yes in your life. See you next time.